uh, for this process what I usually do is I usually use this uh, pure definition brand diamond fusion <coughs> and crystal fusion usually have a three-step uh, compound so you do your ultra compound paintwork polish uh, you also use your wax and then you use a final finish paintwork polish as well however I have started using this VSS uh, scratch and sore remover you know it's it's absolutely fantastic it's a burnt product it's quite expensive but that does last quite a while um, so I would recommend that to you guys also you're gonna need a machine polish which I have already and uh, quite a few clean microfiber towels which we have keep it roughly around 1000 to 1500 rpm when you're doing this uh, but again we'll go through that already the bonnet has already been clay barred if you're not sure how to clay bar it um, then see my other video and it's also been cleaned before the clay barring so again see my previous videos I'll link them in the description for you to have a look uh, and then I'll set this camera up and uh, I'll show you the next process now if you see here it's all these nice little ugly little swirl marks that you can see this is what we're going to get rid of so I'm going to show you how we can get rid of them the steps I use um, and again like I said I'm going to do this as a full time uh, car detailing to do other people's cars as well so if you're interested in that after this video feel free to follow me on instagram which i'll put on the screen now uh, and drop me a message on there um so yeah let's get started okay so the first part we're going to use is this this is going to get rid of our deep scratches um misconception what a lot of people think is that you completely remove scratches with one pad now i'm going to be straightforward with you you actually create scratches but smaller ones so this is why it's very important to follow a process. So this is the pad you use first. Um, and then we'll move on to other pads which will get this one out. Um, get the smaller scratches out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get your ultra compound uh, paintwork polish. You want to put some dots. Just some of it onto your pad. Right, so spread it out as much as you can. Give the pad on here. We're going to work down in this area. So you want to just press it and spread it about a little bit in your area that you're going to work like so and then you want to start on your lowest setting and slowly move up and just keep going around you want to go in an up down motion and then you want to go on a zigzag and you want to do this until it's clear once it's clear you then add some more compound uh, and do this about three or four times uh, and then you're ready to move on to the next step Okay, so now uh, I've done it for a good five to ten minutes. I'm going to wipe it all down. See how it looks, if there's still scratches, I'm going to do the process again and just keep repeating that process until you're happy with your paint. Okay, so now you want this head, which is like a fluff head. Uh, make sure after every single application you re fluff this back up because you're going to do this process quite a few times. So, this is the second step, and we're going to use a uh, VSSS swirl remover, scratch remover. Exactly the same principle, apply some on your pad spray with a quick detailer and then put some more on okay so the final step put the orange pad this is very very fine this is going to remove all the little tiny scratches and help us uh, make that pristine paint that we want so we're going to use now the um, deep gloss liquid protective wax which will also help uh, fill in the gaps and such so again as always a few small blobs So I've gone ahead and done the bonnet, as you can see by my hair, I've been working extremely hard, uh, but also as you can see by the finish on the paint, it's absolutely crystal clear. Um, you can see the clouds just here, look, <laughs> um, you can see me, but yeah, as you can see, no swirl marks, all gone. As you can all see how shiny it is, um, there's one more step left now, and that's to add your favourite wax. Um, I like to use this, Dodo Juice Blue Velvet, it's a hard wax, you do circular motions all over your paintwork, let it dry. Ok 
Okay, so now that's all dry, um, you want to get a clean microfiber towel um, and you want to wipe off any excess wax that you have. Uh, be very thorough. When you're doing this as well, make sure you get any overspores. Don't be lazy, make sure you clean around everything that you leave. Um, so again, you want to be wiping all the residue off. Keep on the same side. Don't switch your cloth around uh, just yet. So get all that excess wax off. Like so. Like I said, be quite thorough with it. And then now that's mainly off, what you can do, turn your cloth over to the other side, and now you can give it a good buff and circle it. So go over it again to so buff out that stuff. And as you can see from this already, it's absolutely sparkling, <laughs> um, which is what we want. So yeah. That's basically it for this video guys, I'm going to do the whole car, um, any questions feel free to ask in the comments, like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.